Good evening and welcome to another edition of Friday Night Lights. I'm Jay Pushkar. Mike Fenner was on assignment. The quest for a state basketball championship continued on Friday night for the Cathedral Prep Ramblers as they battled District 7 champion Penn Hills in the Class 5A quarterfinals. Let's head to Sharon High School where Mike Fenner made the trip to provide the game highlights and post-game reaction. Opening half for the Ramblers, Jake Sambuccino drives and pulls up and connects from the baseline. Then it's Samante Lofton with the quick bucket from mid-range. Ramblers up four early. Penn Hills flexes its full court pressure. It leads to a transition bucket by Robert Thomas who nets two of his ten points. Then it's the Ramblers getting red hot from the perimeter. First, Amari Pickens buries the three. He finished with 19. Then it's Sambuccino getting the feed. He buries the corner three. Indians keeping pace though. Noah Barron with the drive, pull up, whistle, knocks it down plus the foul. He finished with 11. More from Penn Hills. This time they execute the alley-oop. Duggar on the finish as this game went back and forth. Later in the first half, it's Sambuccino. Same spot, hits another triple. Game was tied at 24 at the break. On to the second half of play. Prep makes another run. Sambuccino skips to loft and drives, hangs, and scores. Then in transition, here comes Lofton, attacks the rim, whistle and the foul. He poured in a game high 23 points. More from the Ramblers. Sambuccino drives and pulls up, cans another triple. He chipped in with 16 points. Prep building a double digit lead. And then for the exclamation point, Zion Barksdale with the throwdown. Ramblers up 15 at that point. Cathedral Prep is headed to the Final Four in Class 5A. They knock off Penn Hills, the final 68 to 54. Mike Fenner caught up with the team after the game. You know, coming into the game, we knew they were bigger than us, faster than us, but, you know, we sit down and film, and we do, do a great job scouting our players. So coming out, playing defense well, shooting the ball very well, it, it's nothing better than that. Um, us being able to get stops and hit shots early, and every shot that we make, it just built, it our, it just built up our uh, momentum and confidence each, and out, each, each play throughout the whole game. What allowed you guys to be so effective from the start, play your game and dictate the, the tempo and the way you wanted to play to them? I think our week of practice, we knew how big this game was going to be and how good that team was going to be, so... We need to uh, really focus and give 100% effort on every play, every possession, and, and we did just that. It goes back to experience, you know, and I think, you know, Jake, Tavion, Amari, they've had, you know, three, four, even with Tavion, four years of experience being in this situation. So, um, um, you know, I'm, I'm just, I'm thankful and, and I'm appreciative that we have them on our team. I'm, I'm thankful and appreciative that, you know, we have the team that we have, and, and they're learning, they're still learning as we go, and I thought they made some really good decisions in the fourth quarter to kind of open the game up. So the Cathedral Prep Ramblers led by Samante Lofton's 23, Amari Pickens chipping in with 19, and Jake Sambuccino adding 16, advance to the Final Four in the Class 5A State Tournament. That will take place on Monday night. Other scores from the state playoffs. It was Imani Christian beating Farrell 80-50 in a Class A quarterfinal game. And in girls' action in Class 2A quarterfinals, it was Kennedy Catholic over Bishop McCourt 60-48. On Saturday afternoon, the Cathedral Prep girls basketball team will tangle with the number one team in the state, South Fayette, in the quarterfinals of the Class 5A tournament. Doug Chusey's team boasts a 23-1 overall record into their showdown with the District 7 champions. All season long, defense has been the foundation for the Ramblers, and they will need their absolute best effort against South Fayette in the Elite Eight round. Our defense has been really, really good. We've been emphasizing what we want to do on defense every single day in practice. And what we want to do depends on what team we're playing. But when it comes game time, we're all locked. We're all like there together and we're all in the right positions to do what we've been practicing. How much does that defensive effort then translate into offense? Um, I think being able to get stops kind of corresponds to offense. We always talk about if we can get defense stops, the offense will come. So it's been working for us so far. So Well, transition defense is our biggest thing. So just being able to go out on the court and play defense. The offense is going to come from defense. So just being able to go out and put it all on the floor is, is a good thing. You know, I think our transition defense is going to be tested this next game. Uh, South Fayette gets out better than, than any team that we've seen um, in a number of years. You know, they, it starts with their big and, and, and she rebounds and, and they all leak out early. Um, so, you know, that's going to be a, a test for us and, and, and our transition defense. And in the half court, you know, they have a young lady that's going to play at Villanova. Yeah, it's a top 10 program in the country. Um, so it'll be a challenge. 
Here are the four remaining teams in District 10 left and their schedules for Saturday's action. There will be a girls doubleheader at Sharon High School. Game one features Cathedral Prep in South Fayette at 1 p.m. Followed by Fairview versus Blackhawk at 2.30. On the boys side, Erie First Christian will look to make more school history when they battle Otto Eldred at 2 p.m. from Clarion University. And at Armstrong High School, it's Franklin taking on Penn Cambria at 2.30. And in Philadelphia, at the CYO Boys State Basketball Tournament, the Blessed Sacrament Bulldogs defeated Sacred Heart out of Pittsburgh tonight in the first round of the state tournament, 38-19. The Bulldogs advance to the state semifinals, where they will face Holy Trinity out of Altoona on Saturday, beginning at noon. Good luck to Blessed Sacrament. Coming up next on Friday Night Lights, we'll hit the ice, where the Erie Otters were back on the road in Mississauga. We'll have highlights and more next.